to my first tech tip tutorial. Today I am going to show you how I make digital do nows or digital bell ringers, whatever you want to call it. This is something that my students get trained on and learn how to do at the beginning beginning of the year and it is a great way to set up classroom procedures and um, a, just a good start to each lesson uh, by coming in, sitting down, either reviewing something we learned yesterday or maybe it's spiraling back even further into the year. So before we start, I do want to say whatever question you want to use in this digital do now, you need to have saved as a picture. So the picture that I'm using is a just from a released star test, and I snipped a picture of it. And so you will need a picture of a question to do this. To get started, open your Google Drive and click New, Slides. The first thing I like to do is title it. And now I like to delete these text boxes. We will not need them for any reason. Okay, so now I have this blank slide ready to work with. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna to wanna to change the background. It doesn't matter what color you change it to, it just makes it easier to see the question on, so I always change it to something other than white. Once you've got this done, there's nothing on your slide except for the background color, no text boxes, nothing else. You're going to insert that picture. So I'm going to find that image on my computer. Here's my do now question. And you'll notice that it opens it up pretty big. It's taking up the majority of my screen. If you want to, you can shrink it down, but I like for this to take up the majority of the slide because my particular students have Chromebooks. And those Chromebook screens are pretty small. So even if it takes up the whole slide, it's gonna be pretty small on their screen. So. Once you get it to the size that you want and the location on the slide that you want, you're going to right click on this photo. What we're going to do right now is add this photo to our entire theme or to our background. So when you right click, you're going to go all the way down to add to theme and click master. Essentially what we did was put this picture into the background. So I can't move it, I can't drag it. Uh, if I am a fifth grader, I can't accidentally delete this picture and then freak out about, oh, how do I get it back? So uh, this is definitely not necessary, but it's a good tip. It makes it convenient for my students. So I always add it to the background. Now, I'm going to insert a shape. You can use whatever shape you want. I usually use a circle. And this is what students are going to use to drag and select their answer choice. Obviously, right now, you can't see the letter. Again, some of my students freak out. I could tell if I'm reviewing this as a teacher, oh, they picked the first answer choice. But we're going to change this so we can see the letter. So when I have my circle selected, you're going to go up to the fill or the paint bucket and choose uh, transparent. Now that looks pretty good. I usually like to change the color of my circle. So I'll go to the pencil, which is the border color for that shape. And I usually pick red. And then I change the border weight. You can make it super big. <laughs> Kids always mess around with that. But there you go. So I've set up my question of the day. It's ready, ready to be assigned in Google Classroom. If you want to go one step further, you could insert a text box and tell, uh, ask students to explain their thinking. I always put type here because sometimes, um, you know, my fifth graders don't really know what to do or where to type, but there it is. So now if I'm going to assign this in Google Classroom, I'm going, here's my stream. I'm going to go to classwork, create an assignment. I usually label them or title them as the day of the week and then do now. 
And now here is where you will need to go in and link that Google Slides that you just made. So I'm going to add from my Google Drive my Do Now tutorial. This is probably the most important part right here. If it is set on students can view file, they will only be able to view this. They won't be able to change anything. They won't be able to do anything. So you need to drop down and make a copy for each student. Once you assign it, you'll be able to see live student work on your teacher view as, as you look at it. Obviously, I don't have any kids in this um, tutorial Google Classroom. So this is what it looks like. Students will log in, click on this. It'll pop up like this on their end. They'll change the answer and then they'll go back to Google Classroom. And for students, somewhere over here on the right hand side, it will say submit or turn in. That's what they'll need to do. Let me know if you have any questions or um, suggestions of how you do your do nows or your bell ringers. I would love to know um, what other people do in their classroom.